Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Nightmare on Willow for another Blood Moon challenge, but in the lobby here, I see this is glowing, so that means we have another tier. So last time I played, we were just right before it, oh boy. Game's lagging a little bit. Please, Phasmophobia, come back. <laughs> there, finally, Jesus Christ. Okay, stage 2 is at 100, and we're almost 10% to stage 3. So we have six days remaining, so I think we'll get there. But yeah, it would be a shame if we don't end up getting this blood moon. So that'll be really cool if the blood moon becomes a rare event. All right, let's go get the uh, second reward here. I guess it's just gonna do the same thing it did the first time. Oh, 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 okay, it got bigger. So that, I don't remember if it did that for the first reward. God, now it's just gonna get bigger and explode. So that means over here I should have my tier two badge. So honestly, this tier one looks really good. Oh, okay, so it did upgrade the same one. It's the same ID card, it was just upgraded because I was looking at it thinking it looked pretty good already, but it added an animation to it. So it's the same one, just now there's an animation to it. All right, well, that's not too special really, but at least we have an even better looking one. I, I was kind of worried that it was gonna be two separate cards, but at least they just made this one look better. But really, we need to just get that trophy and have the blood moon. Also, we're really close to a level here. Alright, I'm going on Nightmare to Willow, and I'm going to try and do a complete game, but and focus on getting photos of the Blood Moons and stuff, but the main thing is going to be getting the ghost right. Alright, it's Eva Emmett, EMF reader for Eva, cleanse, and then average sanity. So, I, I mean, honestly, in Nightmare, you can pretty much want to hunt objective because that'll make it easy, because you're always going to get hunted in Nightmare. So I'm going to go in with my normal stuff, even the big light. I do want to make sure I have the camera. I'm going to walk through and look for all the moons, and also hopefully find the ghost as I'm doing it. Okay, I see this all glowing. Is there something in here? No, there's just a whole bunch of candles on the bathroom, and I see that. That definitely doesn't start upside down. Wow, okay, that's been a while since I found an item out of place, so does that mean you're just gonna be in here? I'm going to leave that information and come back later. This is very a very small house, so. I'm just gonna run through here and get all the photos of all these moons that aren't even here. Well, there's a kind of good hiding spot. I also haven't found the cursed item yet. Okay, wow, there, there was one in here and I just heard that uh, door to the basement. There's no hiding spots. The only hiding spot so far I found is in the uh, garage, not the gym. But okay, you're either a like a hallway ghost or you're just roaming back into here i think this is going to be your favorite room maybe i should take a photo of something here i'm kind of not super focusing on like being a ghost hunter i'm just kind of enjoying the blood moon challenge so that's why i'm not too focused on photos of just random stuff but let me just check down here on the cursed item are there any more moons though i swear i hear one there's this one back here but as i walk down here i thought i heard another let me listen. Oh, I did. It was right behind me. Alright, well, it seems like they were all in the basement. I know that there's a chance you just don't like it any, but at least this time, I'm doing my job. These doors, I'll never learn which way they open or close. Man, there's nothing here though. There's no hiding spot. <laughs> Maybe I should get the breaker turned on. Again, with all these candles, I forget that I need to actually turn the lights on. And these candles are not doing anything to help my sanity. And well, we know where the ghost generally is. We have one decent hiding spot. Oh, oh my god, I just walk up here to a random EMF 5 again. At least my EMF 5 luck is still pretty good. There's one of the two evidences. Okay, I'll get a photo. There's another EMF 5 for me. Let's go ahead and get some of these lights turned on so I can see what I'm doing. I'll leave that for now. Well, we already got one of the evidence, which is nice. And again, I'm just trying to have a good nightmare blood moon challenge here. So I am just focusing on the blood moon stuff. So as for the objectives, EMF, incense, and then average <gasps> sanity. Oh, I didn't, whoa, what was that noise you made at the end there? I, I didn't hear you until like the very end of that. Look at that, that is an amazing ghost photo. All right, putting this in the sink. Actually, maybe I shouldn't, whoa, why can't I pick that up now? Come on. All kinds of EMF two. Well, one EMF two and then two EMF four. All right, well, I'm not worried about EMF anymore then, unless I'm trying to take more photos. Let's leave. I want to take like one sanity even, because now there's been ghost events and stuff. I'm not going to let it hunt me right away. But we do have the summoning circle, 
So that'll be an easy way of getting my sanity down to 25. All right, like I said, I'm gonna take one sanity and just kind of leave it and hope that I'm still in a range where it'll interact with stuff. God, finally proof of a ghost. So maybe I'll get the door touch freezing and then just leave the book in there. But also I should look for dots in case this is a mimic. I gotta remember to be looking for mimics here. Well, it does seem like it's gonna be in the bathroom here. And it's so nice going back to a small map. I mean, I know like Willow and Tanglewood are basically the beginner maps. And that was something I realized. They didn't do up Tanglewood because they wanted all the new players to still have Tanglewood as the like beginner map. So that's why, you know, Tanglewood kind of got avoided. But they did do Willow, which is like the other beginner map. Even though Willow is definitely harder because it's harder to break a line of sight. And you don't have any actual lockers you can hide in and hold the door closed. I'm gonna scan out here for ghost orbs in case it's a mimic dragging its ghost orbs around. I don't really see anything. Let's get some of the other stuff in here. I really need to learn to like, well, I, I didn't have my book, but when I bring in things I need to like drop. See? Maybe you don't like this room or maybe you already moved. Hmm, I bet you moved. But did you move down to like this bedroom? Or maybe it is just that room. Okay, it was like 10. <laughs> See, now it's up to 19 around here. So you're either in the foyer. Well, <laughs> this, this is not a foyer. This is a hallway, I guess. This is a very wide open hallway. Well, you are not back here, so let's leave this. It's making this room cold and the bathroom cold. But then as soon as you walk in here, it's mm, back up to 15, 17. Yeah, I do not like this. Is it any colder in here? Only a little bit should be looking for this, but you haven't touched any doors as, as I've been in here, so I guess I didn't expect to find anything. No, you haven't heard anything. Alright, I'll leave this for any future door touches. I'm gonna drop all that. Then, let me do one last scan for a ghost orb. But I don't think I'm gonna see it in this tiny-ass bathroom. I mean, if it was in here, I'd see it. It would have to be, like, in the dead center. So, no. I'm gonna say no ghost orbs. Now, let's leave this. Let's just go oh, focus on evidence still and since it didn't do anything to drain my sanity. Yeah I'm just gonna focus on evidence while I have the opportunity All right, I believe this is all the other evidence unless there's something I'm forgetting But we'll get the book down first That's what I wanted to say was whenever I bring the book in and stuff I need to put down I should just put it down before I start like looking for ghost orbs now that covers the whole bathroom So I'm just gonna like leave this out here because that covers this almost whole house pretty much Anything else? Yeah, put down the dots before I just start asking spirit box questions. We'll have this cover this whole damn room. Oh, oh god. Maybe I'll have- I don't need a ghost photo. So let me leave my photo cam. I don't even know what I want on me. I guess I'll have my main light. I don't know. Oh, that was already on. See, I can't even tell. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Can you hear me? Oh, finally, response. But not an actual ghost response. Is anyone here? I really don't know if it's just my voice or if the game, or maybe I'm just talking too fast or I don't know. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Oh. I don't know if it's just me, but this tier 3 spirit box seems pretty quiet. I mean, I know that's a good thing. Oh, the breaker went out. Are you here? Are you friendly? I mean, I guess I'll ask out here, in case you're out here. Is anyone here? Is anyone friendly? Is anyone close? Well, no response. I'm gonna drop this. Let's go... Maybe I'll leave this on in case it talks. Let me scan the temperature one more time. But I, I don't like that... Mm, I can't find a cold room. What if it's down in the basement? Oh my god, was it really roaming out of the basement that whole time? It must have changed rooms. Is it like the bathroom? <laughs> what the hell? Of course it drags me back down to the basement. Well, at least we have the ghost room for now. I, I do think it was the bathroom at first. There's no way it roamed out and played in the bathroom and then came down here. Okay, I'm gonna drop my stuff. No, oh, I never got the breaker on, I guess. I do have my... <gasps> and I'm dead. Just like that, I'm dead. <laughs> wow. Uh, how can... I'm, this is a nightmare, though. How can a ghost change his room that far? 
I guess it just depends on when it roams, because that was something I heard. When it roams, it has a chance, so I guess it roamed to the basement and just said, this is my favorite room now. Ah, all right. What was this anyway? I had to just, I thought I, oh, back. Like, I could have just tried to see the shape shift. Ah, I, I really didn't think I was at that low of a sanity, but whatever. That was nine minutes. Let's go in again and see if I can have more of a successful run. Well, once again, I realized that I need to be paying attention for a cold room. I thought that like 10 degrees was warm enough to maybe be the ghost room, but at that point, that's when you got to start walking around with the, oh, let's not use that light, but you got to start walking around with that thermometer, and at least it worked out for me. All right, I'm walking back through here. I'm going to take all the photos I can and also get maybe some lights on. Here's the breaker. Now, do I have any hiding spots in here? Damn it. I really like this one. That means we're gonna have to have a hiding spot somewhere though, right? I didn't really look out here. No, I kind of knew it wasn't out here. Man, I had a, such a good ghost photo of that game. That was such a good run. I hate why well, Every time I'm on Willow, it has to be in the basement. Let's not have a basement ghost this time. Now here's a hiding spot. This one's not a very guaranteed one. Also, we got the voodoo doll, so at least maybe I can drain my sanity. I didn't even look at, uh, Ghost, Sarah Jones, Cleanse, Evidence, and then Prevent. Alright, I'll come to those when I get in there. Well, here's a Blood Moon. Once again, I only found one. But let's head to the basement, because guess what? I haven't heard the ghost, and I have a weird feeling it's going to be in the basement again. I mean, this basement isn't even that hard of a place to survive. It's just I had to come down here with no sanity, and I really didn't understand that I had that low of a sanity last game. No hiding spot, but there is a moon back here. Alright, ghost, just show yourself if you're out here. Oh, found the bone somehow. Someone's keeping a spine in the basement. Well, maybe you actually aren't down here. I'd really appreciate it if you weren't. Do I even have a good hiding spot? Oh yeah, just that one in the boys' bedroom. Well, maybe I can stand at the top of the stairs here and just listen for a minute. God, I hear that clock right on top of me. Well, I'm looking for anything thrown out of place now. And I guess at this point, maybe I should just go get that thermometer. I heard that. That was a cup. Was that back here? Uh, I heard a cup. Was that... Was that out here? Oh, no. I heard that. Maybe it is somewhere on the first floor and not the basement. There's only one floor, really. Would you throw something in here? Maybe that was something on this shelf? No. Ah, uh, alright. I need to find my cold breath. Let me check the... Did I hear something again? I swear sometimes that'll throw something and then you won't get EMF, but... Are you... in here? Oh, okay, you are back in this bedroom. Oh, and then the, there's EMF-5 luck again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the death monitors. You've heard a blue screen of death. This is the red screen of death. I'm gonna turn that right back off. Wow, it's not even that light in here. But two EMF-5s. Oh my god. I'll take a photo of that, but... Do I just run back and get UV? I think I'm going to. Well, at least the ghost is <laughs> in the one room with my hiding spot. I guess I'm gonna have to loop. Man, this is gonna suck. The one hiding spot is in the ghost room. I mean, you can kind of deal with that, but... The ghost checks wherever it thinks it saw you last, so if I draw it way out of its room and then somehow got back in there without it seeing me, maybe it wouldn't go back in there and check. Uh, the thing is, maybe we'll figure out this ghost anyway. We need to prevent and then cleanse. Do I just... I'm gonna take... Two sanity. There, I'm taking them. And then, yeah, UV, I wanted to get back in there. We'll take this. And then I'm going to look for ghost orbs again, just in the case of the off chance of it being uh, Mimic. But we do have EMF-5, and can the Mimic even be EMF-5? So no. That must mean it wouldn't, it's not going to be a Mimic. That's a good thing to know. If it's EMF-5, it's not going to be a Mimic. Well, either way, I'm going to look for ghost orbs, because it still could be ghost orbs. Alright, I trust my sanity for once, if only because I took <laughs> half my sanity meds. Doesn't look like there's anything in here, though. Who is this ghost again? Sarah. Sarah, give us a sign. The voodoo doll was in here. The one hiding spot I gets in here. 
Unless I just missed another spot. But it is still very cold. Hell, so much for the fingerprints, but it'll bang on something again. I knew I was kind of taking my time. Let's turn that light back on, maybe. You know, just leave that on. I don't... Can it be a Raiju with EMF-5? You'd think I'd learn by now. Yes, EMF-5 is definitely a Raiju. It doesn't seem to be freezing either. That would have helped mark out Raiju. Well, my three evidence didn't really work out for me. Sarah, give us a sign. Maybe I'll get a photo, but I'm not sure. I really don't know. This ghost doesn't feel too active. It was doing stuff when I wasn't here. Is EMF 5 also shade? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna close this. <laughs> I can't get over how different this red makes everything look. Well, let's just go get more stuff then since you're not doing anything. The good news is it's not hard to loop on this map. I mean, you can loop, yeah, in there and then around here, so it's not hard to loop. But what could it be, a Raiju? And that's only gonna be like the fast ghost it could be, so I think it'll be all right. All right, I'm hoping my sanity is fine and I'm going in here with the last evidence, so please let me just get the evidence, figure out what this could be. It could be a gin, and it has not turned off the breaker, but I mean, I've only been here five minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's like a candle glowing demonically behind that teddy bear in there. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? You've been throwing shoes over here. Why do you have two such different sized feet? Are you here? Are you close? Are you far? Are you here? Are you away? Maybe you're not even in here right now. I don't know if they made that even quieter, or maybe my sound should be the exact same as it was before. But for some reason, that spirit box seems quieter to me. We're not down to freezing. Have you touched anything? I need to get the salt in here. So let's get the salt. Maybe some crucifixes. Just to start feeling a little safer. And I don't know. This ghost might not even be in here right now. Oh! Okay, you are in here. I, I thought that... Oh my god. Okay, I thought that was a radio... Where's my spirit box? Are you here? Now that I know you're in here, I'm gonna talk. Are you here? I can't even tell if this is on. Is my audio, I gotta legitimately look. Well, where am I going? I just sound, everything seems quieter. I can't even tell if this is on. Okay, let's keep that off. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Are you away? Oh my God, okay. I'm gonna say you're not spirit box if you're right on top of me. I don't think I can get UV from that. I don't trust my sand. <laughs> I don't trust my sanity. Oh my god. Get off the floor. Okay, once again, I don't trust my sanity. And once again, I don't put down all this other shit I need to put down. I just come in here and start toying with the ghost. I'm going to try and block this to where if it comes through around this corner, we'll definitely see ghosts. Or dots. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm going to get crucifixes and maybe a smudge. Because now I really feel like we're getting into hunt range. Well, it's good. the good news is we just need to in cleanse with incense and then prevent a hunt. <laughs> I don't know what ghost this is, so maybe it'll write while I'm gone. But now that we have the two crucifixes, I'm going to put those in there and then we will risk going down to low sanity. But I mean, I, getting hunted is not really going to tell me what this ghost is. I'm going to have to get this other evidence and then get some kind of ability to, to narrow it down. Alright. Man, how, how much can I cover this room? I can cover- oh, you are writing for me. Thank you. That, is that not being placed to see? That is so screwed up. I'm just gonna throw that right down. All right, well, that's not a dot. I thought it like hunted right away there. Okay. You don't like that one crucifix. I'm gonna put this other one way out here. The thing is, this map is so small, even these tier two crucifixes are feeling pretty good. And going back and forth from a medium map to a small map is really jarring. All right, you did write. So I don't need to worry about another evidence. Where's ghost writing? Spirit, shade, or miling? I'm thinking shade right now. I'm gonna turn that off. Now the thing is, shade is pretty easy to test. Well, miling, actually, I kinda understand milings now because they're quieter, so I do need to get hunted and maybe try and see if it's a miling because I kinda know what to look for now. And then the thing about a spirit is doing the spirit test. So the main thing though I can test is if it hunts from the same room. So I, since I wanted to hunt, I'm going to want to get these crucifixes out of here. So I'll put this one way out here so that way it just doesn't hunt any... 
Holy shit, dude. I didn't know where you were. Why do you have to break the light out here? Go back to your room, please. At least I have a smudge. I might have to actually... If you hunt out... <gasps> what is happening? Please. Are you, you're not a banshee. You hunted... You just hunted in the same room as me, right? I need to get hunted anyway just to see if you're a miling. Alright. I'm taking this even further away just so you don't hunt out here. Please let me get some lights back on. Oh, the breaker. The breaker was right here though, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, the breaker is on. You broke out the damn light. Well, so much for looping in the light in here. Maybe I'll get this light on though. I'm gonna... I'm trying to get hunted at this point. It's probably gonna use up the crucifix in its room. Let me get my big light. I don't know how you haven't used up the crucifix in here. Alright, taking this out with me. We're gonna block this one out where the first one was. So that way if she hunts, she's only gonna hunt from back there. Or try and do it out here. Now that's the thing. Do I go in here with her to try and see... See if it's a shade. See, she just hunted from... Let me try and do the miling thing. Doesn't seem like a miling. It's pretty loud. I don't think it's a miling. No, it seems the same. Maybe it's just a spirit. That's the problem. Yeah, if I can hear the footsteps and the little throwing at the same level, then it's not a miling, I think. Watch me be wrong somehow. But they both seem pretty quiet and at the same level. We heard it throwing some stuff in the footsteps and they sounded about the same. Well, we just need to cleanse now. I, I really need to go... If the ghost hunts from the same room as me, are you in here now? I need to see if it hunts from the same room as me. So, we're just gonna see. Alright, whoa, 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 you stay in here. Now there's no... Okay, not a shade. So then, I'm, this is a spirit. Please don't see me. I can't see you, that's the problem, is because you're crawly. This is the weirdest hunt I've ever had. Oh, you are not crawly, you are demonic! Please don't come in here. I thought she was on the ground right in front of me coming around that island. But no, she was just bent over demonic again. Alright. I, oh, I didn't smudge, damn it. But we definitely learned. Yeah, it's not a shade. It's probably not a miling. So I'm going to say it's a spirit. But I could be wrong once again. I'm always damn wrong. And the thing is... Oh, I don't have to get hunted here. Let's just smudge. I've had enough fun with these ghosts. There, I'm getting out of here while I still can. I died earlier, so I don't want to die again here. No matter what, at least I'm getting out of here with my life. And this was technically case 450, but like... To, to try and explain this, uh, when I swapped from my old SSD to my new one, my case numbers got reset, but my level didn't. And there might be some way to reset that, but really my case number is probably like 800 to like 1000 now. So that case number is just, and it's not right anyway, because there's so many games I've had where you go in and then you don't actually play or you back out or like I have to go in and get thumbnails sometimes. So that's just to try and explain my case number. So when it gets to like a thousand, that's when I'll start like actually caring about the number. Now we did level up there, but huh, didn't unlock anything. We're level 81 and we have 30,000. So, okay, I still have a lot of money, even though we died there. So I didn't really exactly say how much money we made there. I was just kind of talking. But I don't, it's not really about the money. <laughs> I mean, we leveled up and I knew that was going to happen anyway, but I just wanted to, you know, try and do the Blood Moon a little properly, even on Nightmare. And I didn't even see what the fucking ghost was, so I'm just a bit of an idiot. Oh well, I'll check it back in post and then I'll see what the hell even happened there if we were right. I just started talking about the stupid case number because I saw it and I've always wanted to explain that and I don't even think it matters. So I talked about the case number instead of actually paying attention to the game. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.